Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away, and this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. So I'm going to have to do an everybody on behalf of the Northumberland Registration Service and the management and staff here at Hing Barnet. I'd like to welcome you all to celebrate the marriage of Mark and Katie. Mark and Katie have found that deep abiding affection, magical and compelling shared impulse that makes them seek each other's company. And that is amongst the greatest gifts of the human experience. Yeah. Oh, you look radiant. You look absolutely splendid. Oh my goodness, you can't believe it. You look, <laughs> you look lovely as well. Look absolutely gorgeous. Duh. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's so you, Katie. Yeah, that oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Katie, you are a best friend. I will always love and respect you. I promise to make you laugh and smile every day, no matter how annoying I am. I promise to care for you, never take you for granted. I promise our adventure will be a happy one. You are my anger, and I will always be there for you. I don't always have the right words to say, but I promise I will spend the rest of my life showing what you mean to me. I vow to laugh with you and comfort you during times of joy and times of sorrow. You are the kindest, gentlest, most caring soul. I promise to never take you for granted. You know more than anyone. My insecurities and weaknesses, but somehow you never make me feel inadequate. You've continued to love me without any hesitation. I promise to be faithful to you, to be honest with you, and to love you wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. You are my best friend, and I'm the luckiest person on earth to conclude my. Therefore, it gives me the greatest pleasure to say you are now united as husband and wife, and you may share your first marriage kiss. <laughs> Katie is a lovely, positive person with an infectious laugh who always enjoys life to the full. Your mom and I are very proud of the beautiful, good-natured young woman you have become. As for Mark, <laughs> what can I say about this young man? He is a clever, good-natured, hard-working lad. Mark is already a much-valued member of our family. He even knows the language. He can tell the difference between the porger and the nibblies. 
He's an ideal son-in-law and Pauline and I love him. This is the one, this is the one, this is the one she's waited for. Aiden, my wife, you look absolutely stunning. We really do. And everyone agrees, yes. I'm so chuffed you said yes. For those of you who don't know, that when I first met Katie, I was working away for three months at a time, and I used to really enjoy my job. But the more I got to know and love Katie, the job got harder and harder, and I started to hate it, so I quit. And now I'm home, and I'm happy, because my life is better when Katie is in it. Thank you for sticking with me. Katie, I've had an incredible journey so far. We've made some wonderful memories, shared some great adventures together. You're thoughtful, fun, incredibly caring. For all these reasons and many more, I take great pride in calling you my wife. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Mm -hmm.